Draft it, one. Why? It's February. It's a hard time of year. It's Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> we are just always impressed when anyone shows up on a Saturday morning. <laughs> oh. So we are, uh, we're actually looking at the clock um, over break. We have decided to shift around a few things. Um, so we're going to save the other stuff we had about feedback until next time. Um, we've talked about, we've been talking about that for about an hour and 20 minutes. And so we're going to move on to some of the other round tables. Uh, the first, we're going to have one round table for all of us together. And then we'll divide into two groups like we did before and have some of you stay here and some of you um, go to follow um, one of our members to another room. So Elaine is going to share with all of us mm -hmm. and then um, we'll, we'll go from there. Okay. And I know you are all very kind people. I'm just going to get out there right now. I get nervous when I talk in front of adults. You know, you are not the same thing as 10 year olds. I'm sure you're just as fun and wonderful. But I feel better if I just acknowledge it. So <laughs> <laughs> I am going to be talking about vocabulary. I've gone to a couple of I've gone to a couple of um, workshops the past couple of years about vocabulary. I've started using some of the things I'm learning in my classroom, and I find I get a lot of learning for my time with these activities. Here's my general outline. Topic to topic, and these words we keep recurring, we keep building. 
it just made more sense to spend the time there because the what you were getting out of it, hopefully, was more not useful, but more commonly useful. I guess is the way to put it. So then, once you've got the idea of the tier words, then it's putting it to action. Okay, which activities do I want to use tier two? How do I want to present these words with my students? How do I get this vocabulary instruction in my classroom without all of a sudden having five vocabulary lessons a day? And then that's all I'm teaching, I'm no longer teaching the content areas that hopefully this is helping me with. I come up with a few from all the presentations I've gone to, a few activities that for me I use most commonly, and those are what I'm going to share with you. Hopefully you will find some use of them as well. And I'm hoping these are adaptable across levels. Um, I was always in elementary based workshops, but I know you said last time you used one of them and it worked, so. We're going to go with the, yes, these will be great for you to use. <laughs> Firstly, in my instruction, anyone who teaches science um, four through eight, Mike Slavsky does these wonderful science by the week articles for us, and he has a four or five version, and then he has a six through eight version on the same topic, it's just higher level. Probably more words, maybe a little deeper into the science content. And there are questions, which I did not print for you, that my students have to go back and dig through this article to answer. And sometimes they're very much looking at the graphics using this chart or this diagram. What kind of information can you pull from there? Sometimes it's okay, there's two um, different arguments. Which do you think is more valid and why? He's not only looking at the science, but also getting kids used to thinking and answering complex questions. Not just go in here and here's the sentence and the answer is right after it, but let's really synthesize this information. I do this activity on every Monday morning with my Science by the Week articles. So using, and I know this was a super fast overview of the three tiers, but using what you sort of hopefully know about the three tiers, I'm gonna give you the article that I would give my kids, I'm gonna have you actually be me. Go through and see if you see some tier two words that you would identify that you'd wanna pre-teach to your kiddos to help them grasp the subject when you hand this out. Lynn, where'd you say that came from? Mike Zidlowski emails this to us every like Friday before the next week. He's, he's the science science coordinator. He's our science coordinator for. Oh really? Yeah. He, he writes is it himself and fabulous. writes himself. Yeah, he's a nut. To I can see a link. And it's I great. That's a great level. Like yeah. I can't wrap my brain around your. They have video phone. links. So I know him. Well. He's a great guy. It's just that's so awesome that he is oh, doing this for all of yeah. His that's wonderful. Yeah. I hope yeah, all I of our teachers are taking advantage of this. I don't know that I have time, but I certainly will use them. Thank you. Love them. on the science website. Are they you may have. They are going to be in the newspaper every Wednesday in the Tribune because he's starting oh. a new, on Wednesdays, a science page. He's going to have um, different schools featured asking questions of scientists and then he's going to have these in there as my understanding as well. Uh, Starts at the end of February. Yeah, I think you could also, uh, if you go, and I'll check this thing, uh, but if you go into the Columbia Public Schools website and go to the science department. I'm going to say there's a, there's a link on the side, would that get me there? No. This, no, this link will actually provide further information regarding the topic oh. that you are. Okay. And so, so there's the a QR code. And then look in the oh, science okay. department. No, I got one of them. Um, and her. hopefully there'll be all the old articles too because he levels them at two good he's much matches. So it's, it's phenomenal. <laughs> I mean, and this is, you know, content, a content coordinator. This is the language arts coordinator. And so. Did I give anybody my copy that already has circled words? You set something down on the chair. This is my them out. Oh, gosh. This is what I like in my classroom, too. My children know to track me. I'm definitely you. <laughs> so if you have one that already has circled words, you need it back. It's my cheat sheet. Why do you put it on the back of the staff? Oh, did they? If you were in my classroom, there'd be an R bit, so we have little R's for respect for responsible. Oh, that's what I would do. That's very responsible. Help us all, you viewers. Thank you. Gold star. Thank you. But help the teacher out. Okay, so tell, I'm sorry. What are my directions again? You are looking through and seeing if you can find tier two words. Tier two words. Okay. Words that aren't necessarily content specific, but you think would maybe trip up a nine or ten year old student. That you might want to do some pre teaching. And I try to do no more than say seven. I try to aim for five to seven words. 